Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video and today guys I'm going to be giving you some predictions that we could see for the upcoming Foot Carnival promo that looks like it's going to be making its first return since FIFA 19 and one of the things that kind of uh, wanted me to kind of make like do this video was I was having a look at the objectives seasons progress tab and I was having to look to see what you could actually unlock over the course of this particular new season and if you go to like level 26, 28 and 29 you start to see Carnival FIFA themed unlockable items like a Rio Carnival badge, a Rio Carnival stadium theme, stuff like that. And it kind of got me thinking, potentially we could see uh, Carnival come back as a promo in FIFA 21. And if we do, that would be absolutely fantastic. And it would kind of make sense for them to give us this promo back because, um, you know, I'm trying to think of what other things they could do between now and Team of the Season. Of course, we'll probably have like a, a Champions League and UEFA Europa League Team of the Knockout, um, you know, promo. And then I'm guessing Carnival could also kind of fit in there. Uh, and then obviously once we've had those two promos, we then go into team of the season so it kind of makes sense especially with what's available in the objective seasons progress tab it kind of makes sense to think that carnival could be returning this year so i thought that i'd have a look at some potential players that we could see for this promo basically ea back in fifa 19 um based off of like a few countries uh you know so the players that were included in the promo were from countries that celebrate massive carnival so you know germany um brazil of course the usa apparently has a big carnival somewhere i don't know exactly where france uh argentina and there's a couple other countries as well well and an EA were picking players from those countries to be included into this promise that's what I've done again for this one and uh, I think there's like 16 players that I've got in here or something like that so we're going to have a look through the cards I'm not going to spend too much time on each card because the video will end up being too long and I don't want the video to be too long but uh, let me guys know if you think Carnival will be coming back this year as well I think there's a really really good chance we could see it and uh, and I remember from FIFA 19 I really really enjoyed it but anyway guys into the first player it's going to be the 92 rated Arsenal so basically I've gone with Nations so we're going to start off with the Brazilian then move, I believe, into Belgian players because they also have a carnival and, and, and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, Atlas and 92 rated have also tried to put players into this promo that don't actually have too many special cards already in this game. And also, back in FIFA 19, EA stated that for each player that was included as part of the Foot Carnival promo, that they were given massive overall rating boosts. So, for example, of Allison. I've gone with a um, only a two on Allison, but for the majority of players, I've gone with like a plus three, plus four. Even some of the players have gone with like a, a third increase. So technically, maybe I should have gone with a 93 rated for Allison, but um, he would be pretty nice because he doesn't have any special cards in the game yet. Artur is another player. He's got a one to watch card, but he, I don't even think he's getting much game time at UA this season. So it'd be pretty cool just to give him like a, a usable card because his 84 rated isn't really that usable at this stage of the game. So an 88 rated card, big four rated increase would be very nice for him. I've then also gone with a 94. Neymar because of course EA will always want to have a big kind of marquee figure in each you know a particular promo they do so for example what if I suppose Kansi was the big kind of focus player um, for uh, for Bertie you had Sane as like the kind of marquee player for that as well uh, and I suppose maybe even Ryan Kent as like the marquee player for, for team two just because so many people remember to the final card but I think Neymar could potentially get in there again uh, of course being Brazilian he'd be insane I positioned him as well to a cam because he was actually in the foot 19 Carnival promo as well, and was also positioned as a cam for that promise. So it'd be pretty cool if EA kind of recognised that again and given that 94 rated card. I think that'd be yeah, that would be pretty awesome. I then go with an 86 rated Ed Militao and a six plus increase on him. He would be amazing. I hear like an amazing premium SBC last year as well, uh, which was pretty awesome. But can you imagine how expensive and how good? I know only 86 rated, but just imagine in game, he'd be absolutely superb. And that does finish off the Brazilians. I did go with quite a few Brazilian players there. But um, but yeah, into Belgium because they celebrate some massive carnival somewhere. But uh, Carrasco, he's been fantastic for Atletico this season. A nice free rating increase on his inform. He would be superb, as would this guy, 91 rated. Like Kaku uh, already has like three or four informs in this game, but I've gone with a 91 rated card to so believe like three racings higher than his current highest inform. He'd be absolutely fantastic. And then, um, the final Belgian player is going to be the 89 rated Alderweireld. Yeah, okay, pace wise would lack a little bit, but you know, passing physicality and defending, he would be he would be solid in that area. Getting into Germany, I've gone with Havertz. You could easily say that maybe uh, even Werner might get into this promo as well. I think either car would be pretty cool to be recognised in Carnival. I don't think EA would go with both of them. Uh, the reason why I went with Havertz, uh, with Havertz is purely because he doesn't have any special cards at all. Uh, Werner does have one in form, but uh, Havertz going to an 80. 
88 rated, or you maybe you could even give him like a uh, an 89 rated potentially. Then I've gone with uh, the 91 rated Hummels. He'd be great, uh, like defensive wise and, and passing and physicality again would be superb. So he would be fantastic. And also Gossens, this card would be superb because already even on just his base card, he already has like 77 defending. He has a foot free card as well as a centre back, and I think he has another in form uh, at like 80. 4 rated or something, so I've gone with an 88 rated car for him, uh, and he'd be very nicely well rounded, could probably even play as like a boxer, boxer midfielder, and I'd be great in that position as well, and then uh, getting into the Argentines, I've gone with a 92 rated Sergio Aguero, who very likely will get himself an end of an era card uh, in the summer once, like, you know, team with the season's finished, and we get into the, into the future star, not future stars promo, the, um, you have a promo at the end of the game from last year, it's not future stars, it's, oh, I can't remember the promo name right now, it's going to kill me, um, yeah, I can't remember the the, the, the promo that they had last year after the end of the team of the season, but I think he will get himself an end of an era card, but pretty cool, you know, obviously because recently he just announced that he won't be playing for City, he'll leave them at the end of the season, it'd be pretty cool, he obviously has an 87 rated flashback card, which is two ratings lower than his gold card, so it'd be pretty cool if they were to give him uh, an actual, like, fully increased racing special card, so an, an, a 92 uh, Aguero would be uh, would be pretty awesome. I then going with Tagliafico as well. Uh, he'd be pretty nice again. Doesn't have any special cards in this game. And then 88 rated Tagliafico would be fantastic. And then for the one USA player, I was going to go with um, with Pulisic, but he already has a storyline cards. And, and I was kind of thinking if EA would even bother to go with him. So, and then I went with McKenny from Juve. I've gone um, with a 10 plus increase from 75 rated base cards. Uh, he would be actually a pretty awesome box to box player. There's obviously quite a good, quite a good bunch of, of USA players already in this game. You so saw, obviously, you know, the Future Stars Reina, the, the Rule Breakers Apara, the various American cards you can get from the MLS uh, milestone challenges as well. So, uh, a McKenny would be pretty nice. And then for, uh, for France, I've gone with an 88 rooted Martial. Again, another player that doesn't have any special cards this year in the game. It'd be fantastic if, the, if you're able to give him one. Also, Nabil Fakir, 91 rated. He has an inform. He also has a, uh, a team of the year honorable mention as well but as an as a 91 rated for kit as a cam card he'd be lights out he'd be absolutely superb and, and the uh the penultimate player for italy it is going to be florenzi is an 88 rated fullback he's an 84 rated uh ones to watch in form card at the moment as well which obviously is pretty decent. There's also like a De Siglio from uh, from Leon who you can get as part of uh, this season's progress, like level 30 unlockable cards. But uh, but Florenzi still to be included in the promo would be fantastic. And the final player will be another goalkeeper in Donnarumma as a 90 rated card. Maybe Benucci or Giolini could also potentially get in for Italy. But um, but yeah, they're my list of cards that I reckon that we could see for the Foot Carnival promo. I really really do hope that this promo comes back because I did enjoy it in FIFA 19. I think it'd be great to see it once again this year. Yeah, EA may as well give it to us because at the end of the day, they'll make money from the promo just from the players in packs anyway. Uh, you know, they may as well give this promo rather than not give us anything at all. You know, usually because obviously we know that EA tend to base everything on money. So why they ever got rid of this promo in the first place, just uh, I find bizarre. Um, but I think based on what you know is currently available in the in the objective season's progress, I think it's very likely that we could see this promo uh, back again for this year, which would be fantastic. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.